It should be a pretty simple question, right? How much money do you make? Almost everybody can answer that question. We all know how much money we make. However, if you're self-employed, how much money you think we make versus how much money the uh, underwriter or the lender, the mortgage lender thinks you make may wind up being two different answers. So what happens a lot of times, especially in situations where you have a sole proprietor, I'm talking to a guy right now that is a truck driver. And so his whole business is what he makes from driving that uh, driving that truck. And so we talk, we're talk. we talking to him and we're asking him, how much money do you make? And he gives us a number. However, when we receive his income taxes, he doesn't make anywhere near the number that he gave us. He does make that much money. When you look at the top line of the, the, the Schedule C, when it says uh, how much money came into the business, he was correct. However, when you start taking into account fuel, mileage, all these different expenses, and a lot of times people even have employees. And so by the time you uh, take, I'm going to just use a number, okay? You take uh, $500,000 and you've got $400,000 worth of expenses. From an underwriting standpoint, you've got $100,000 worth of income for the year. Although when you're looking at your income, you see the invoices being paid at half a million. You're thinking you make a half a million dollars. But in reality, you're making $100,000 a year because we have to deduct all of the expenses that went into making that uh, half a million dollars. So really what we're looking at is profit and not gross receipts. So it's net income and not gross income. So uh, sometimes that's where the some of the confusion comes in. The client we're talking to right now, they were, you know, a disappointed and that they couldn't qualify for what they thought they were able to qualify for because of the way that the income was calculated. So especially if you're self-employed, before you start making commitments, before you start getting too excited, too involved uh, in the home buying process, go ahead and get with the lender, get your income calculated, uh, let them take a look at your tax returns, do everything that they need to do. And at that point, you'd have a much better idea, much better understanding of exactly what you can qualify for instead of going out there and falling in love with your dream home and maybe having your heart crushed. So I hope this helps.